Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Pathfinder. We're about to set out again, but before I do, I took another look through the camp, and um, in Tirabade's tent, the one tent I refused to actually loot, turns out there's a half plate of vigor in theirs, which gives you a plus two enhancement bonus to your constitution, and it's a plus two by itself. So right now I have that equipped to Sila, which brings your hit points up to 69. Nice. Um, and then I sold off a couple more magic items that we just are not using, so now let us get out there, and, and, do we, we didn't play that much with this group, did we? Not that much, we can go, we can keep going with them, that's fine. I don't think we have that many more things to hit here, right? We got, well, I, okay, never mind, we do have a few. Uh, army. Army movements. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess we move you up. We can't go any further that way, so I guess we start having them explore this side? What the? Okay. What is this? A gargoyle? AC 23, damage reduction 3. Your army has engaged in battle. What? Yeah. I. Yes. Got that. I know of the battles. And then they have three different attacks? Jesus. Alright. And 94 archers can only kill maybe one? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. I see. You just gonna... Okay. Let's do Shield of Faith. Oh, they get to go again. I don't... Yeah, I was like, I don't think they're going to attack our defenders. That's unfortunate. Let's do Lay on Hands on Self. Oh my god, these defenders don't do any damage. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This this is gonna be this is gonna be long. I'm assuming if we have I don't know, like actual maybe like magical spells or something. Oh boy. Oh boy. We, there's no like auto combat, is there? Just a retreat? Oh boy. Well, I guess here we sit for an hour as we try to slowly kill some gargoyles and keep our clerics as tanky as possible. Okay, already hate this. These guys are ridiculously tanky. Alright. Oh 
<laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Friends, why? I can't speed this combat up, can I? I don't think I can. At least we haven't gotten past our infirmary size yet. It's like everything that they're doing is gonna be replenished so far. But man, man, still okay on the infirmary size. there isn't just like an auto combat am I missing anything hmm. okay. round 18 I guess it could be smiting evil. Are they evil? Uh, to Gargoyle, we don't see any type of um, alignment. Although it doesn't matter in this, does it? The smite just works? Forgot about that. Yeah, smite just works. Crap. I am dying inside. Oh my god. Well, we're almost done. Round 26. That's about. They're like, do you like having a bad time? <laughs> Go fight some gargoyles. Full strength. Target gets a plus one plus power divided by twenty for three rounds. This is an arcane spell. We get a cure. Cure's pretty good. Scorching ray. Let's do a cure. Let's do a cure. What is this? Go to... Oh, that's where the Hell Knights are. Okay. What is this? Can we see? Can I not see? Maybe in this? There we go. Alright, so some uh, Br Brimorax and like cultists? At least they don't take forever to kill. We do have some people though. Mercenaries. Free search for a new unit. Twenty thousand. Okay, well recruit these footmen, recruit those. 
Recruit these. Alright, so we got some reinforcements. Now we just gotta get them up there. Okay. Okay, then for us. Or, I guess they still have movement. You know what, just come back to there. Alright. So we gotta go to Chili Creek, we still gotta do whatever the heck is down here. Oh, alright, found some stuff. And we're fatigued. Let's go back to this spot, and I guess we will just camp. Alright, uh, no need to make this. That's fine. Protective rituals. Are you still the best for this? You are still the best for this. Still the best at camouflage. I guess, yeah, okay, this is fine. Begin resting. Thinking about cultists hiding among the townsfolk has put me on edge. I don't want to suspect every person I meet. Well, that's how cultists get you. I understand. Sometimes you just want to trust people without constantly second-guessing everyone. A life without trust is no life worthy of the name. Sure. Okay. Uh-oh. Did I break the game? Oh, okay, okay. Alright. <laughs> I clicked a little too soon. What's your formation? Bang! Actually seems about right. Yes. Okay. Keep your calm. I should have put seal on the horse. Yours will watch me. Wait, someone's here. Run. Hello, gnome. Okay, so they want to fight me. And turned invisible. Marauder. Oh, wow, there's a lot of people here. Okay. Charge? Solid charge, Melko. Solid charge. Now, we have an invisible gnome out there. Hmm. Okay, mount up. And we can't see invisibility, can we? Hmm. Go after the Marauder? Maybe Divine Favor? Let's do Divine Favor. Wolchif was the one I had seen visibility on, but no longer. God, we have a lot of mirror images on here. Do I have... Um... Sea invisibility? You have glitter dust? Oh, that's fairy fire. Fairy fire can reveal them. Mm, but we don't have sea invisibility. Hmm... Scroll of blindness. Okay. Let's just do mirror image on yourself. Hold on. Oh, five mirror images. I like it. All right, then move up uh, a little bit. And stay... Oh, Lon, you already know what to do. Let's um, let's murder some people. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. There we go. Fourteen damage. Oh, he's right there. Marauder is right there. What the hell? I could just see him. That's a little weird. But okay, can you use fairy fire? You should be able to, right? No. Oh, that is an arcane. Yeah, no, you can't use that. Um. 
Scroll of Haze Dreams. What does that do? You fill an enemy's head with waking dreams, a reminder of the pleasures, delights. While in this strange dream, the target moves at half a storm of speed. Multiple haze of dreams effects do not stack. Eh. Uh, eh. That's what I say about that. Eh. That sounds meh. Alright, let me move five feet with Darren. And then we'll do the bless spell. You! Now you! Definitely use this. There we go. So now they've been revealed by the fairy fire. Thank you, Ninio. And then I... I will charge. 15 damage. Oh, uh, what did you think you were doing, madam? I'm sorry? Ooh, bombs. I don't know what she thought she was doing. No glory without risk. Oh my goodness, just get wrecked. Cover me, alright? Oh, missed. I want that leader. I'm assuming they're the strongest. Okay, they got sneak attack. Yep, they just sneak attack Belko to death. And then they took away all of our mirror images. Holy shit. You won't survive me. Poor Melko, man. And Melko has such a huge AC too, I don't understand. It's fine. Melko is fine. We're gonna get you up, buddy. We're gonna get you up. Darren? Hell yeah, 26. Good job, Darren. And blur on Melko. You've been blurred by my trusty companion. That dude is now dead, don't worry about him. Take a five foot step. I'll just have to resort to brute force. You're alright, buddy. You're alright. Get up. Hit him in the face. Nice. Misconcealment. Misconcealment. Nice. Seal up. Alright, they're going to attack for opportunity, but I don't care. They'll probably miss anyway, yeah. Hello. Guide my blade. Stab you or zap you. Why not both? Nice sneak attack. Nice. Lan. Let's kill some of these archers. Endure this. And then Darren. Move up and then let's do a channel. Try and cancel out some of those bombs as well. And uh, I think these guys, you know what, actually, hold on. Just go. Distract them for me. Sila. No glory without risk. Wow, I'm kind of surprised that we're missing this guy so much. There we go. All right. Oh. There are many so once again, Melko yes, took I most of the damage. I don't know why. My, my poor companion. What do we have here? We have an eye. Moss pottage? I had to say porridge, right? A light hammer, which is a martial weapon. A light hammer, which is a martial weapon. Wow, a lot of stuff there. Masterworks. The masterworks all. You can't go wrong. More magic items?
Potion of blurs? Jesus, this place was stacked. A counterfeit jewelry. A letter to a noble crusader. Uh oh. I hope this letter finds you in good health, Sir William. I see now, with great sadness, that you have quite forgotten and abandoned us. It's been three years since you visited your native lands and your father at your family crypt. Last summer, some passerby broke the lock on it and spent the night inside. As steward, I installed a new lock and cleaned up all the wreckage. Your servants, or your servants who went missing, whom you inquired after in your previous letter, has indeed been seen, but at present his precise whereabouts are unknown. He came to us, looked at us with contempt, said something through his teeth, gathered taxes for you, ate a whole goose for free at the tavern, jumped on his horse and galloped off. If you went missing somewhere on the road, we wouldn't know anything about it. It's been a complete disaster here, even without missing strangers to account for. Seven days ago, all cows gave black milk, and the milkman who tasted it out of drunken stupidity died in the pain of a twisted bowels. There is something wrong with the spring. The water stinks of rotten eggs, and the cattle won't drink it. Besides, some scoundrel threw some dead dogs into the closest well, the one on the crossroads, so we filled it with soil. I expect the demons are giving us trouble any way they can. Our cattle are dying of thirst. Children are going missing in your protected forest. The woodcutters saw some scarecrows, which they swore were alive. <laughs> they spoke of angry faces and barred teeth, bare teeth. They were afraid to get too close and watch them from afar. Frightening things are going on in the woods. I fear that witches and demons have settled in your protected forest to do their wicked mischief. They are probably the ones who pick the bones of your servant who's gone missing. And if you ask us, as if you suspect us of being involved, and you asked us as if you... Okay. Uh, as if we could kill and rob an honest man. It's upsetting, Sir William. We never touched your servant, and if we did, he was a wretched man, smug and nasty. And we have no food or water, and our children are going missing. Instead of serving your Lady Galfrey, you should be home defending us and bringing us food. You must have some gold, Lord, that you are. There is no one to protect us besides you. The city lads only come to find new recruits and take our gold. They don't have the authority to do anything more. And the send-off we give our lads and lasses they take. The whole village comes to say farewell just like in a, it's a funeral. None of them have returned home to the village yet. We are dying. Jesus. So I'll tell you the honest truth, Sir William. We cannot live like that anymore, but we cannot die in such terrible conditions either. So we agreed with our neighbors to burn down your forest on the next new moon, your protected forest where the dark beasts live. We'll surround it, set it on fire from all sides, and hire a wizard to steal the wind. We won't be put off just because the forest is protected or because no one man may shoot game there or enter therein or cut down his trees. Of course, you'll be very angry at us for burning down your family forest because we've already been cutting its wood and shooting game there for there is nothing else to eat and no other wood. We won't let the forest beast steal our children. If you wish, come and execute me. Execute all of us. But we won't put up with this anymore. That's that. Respectfully, the steward of Vic Sola Village to Lord Sir William. Wow. Is this where Sir William's convoy was? Did he get the message? Was he on his way home? Was this his servant? I guess we'll never know. I don't know. Is that it? Oh, I guess that's it. Alright. So, he left his people in misery. Uh, what items did we get? Change her plus one. Whenever the wearer of this cloak... Wait. Whenever the wearer of this cloak of resistance plus two lands a killing blow, they gain immunity to mind-affecting conditions. A killing blow? To mind-affecting um, conditions? Uh... Okay. It's, it's still a cloak of resistance plus two. I will wear that. I now have a fancy cloak. The light hammer plus one of finesse wielding. Hold on, let me. Where's the other one? There's the other one. Uh, plus two finesse wielding. Whenever the wielder of this plus two light hammer confirms a critical hit with it, all the members of their party are affected with the equivalent of the haste spell. Wow. Wow. It'd be nice if I could get you to use this. Hmm. 
You need to become proficient with uh, martial weapons, though. Hmm. God, I've had so many cool melee weapons. But, like, I, I don't have any enough people to use them. Uh, click a resistance plus one. You already have one, right? Yeah. Hmm. Melko. Oh, but you can't... You don't have the... Okay, hold on. What's this? Oh, right, right. <laughs> Looks kind of silly. Alright, Malco, you, you, you're gonna get this. Even though they don't give you, like, some cool cape equivalent or something. Oh, hey, the hat has an image now. That's our bard hat. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Well, we got some cool stuff. Okay, and that's everything down here. So I guess we just now head back to the camp. And also, these banners refreshed, right? I think? Because we can actually skip a few... A traveling merchant. I think we can skip a few days to try and get some more reinforcements, maybe. Uh, hello, sure. Okay. A skeleton is walking across the wastes. He moves with pep in his step, humming a tune. His skull bobs and chorus with the humming, making the coins inside his head clink rhythmically. Next to him, nightmarish horses of flame and shadow draw a cart loaded with valuable-looking items. Upon seeing you, the skeleton offers a dramatic and hearty wave. Good evening to you there. Or is this what day looks like in your world wound? Can't really tell. But no matter. Be it day or night, the skeletal salesman always has the best deals you can find anywhere. He proudly sweeps his bony hand over the goods in the cart. <laughs> Hero was planning to attract new customers with the offer of free potion of fox cunning. Fox is cunning. But I can see you don't need one. Pleased with his joke, the skeleton utters a rasping chuckle. Uh, tell me about yourself. I'm a simple man. I keep no secrets. You can see right through me. The skeleton laughs as he knocks on his empty ribcage for emphasis. What would you like to know? How did you become what you are? Oh, now that's a story and a half. Listen well and don't repeat my mistakes or you won't be able to live with yourself. Get it? Ah, all right, moving on. Once I was just like you, exploring all sorts of ruins and filling my pockets with riches until I stumbled into a Draco Lich's lair. That's one scary beast, let me tell you. A lich and a dragon. He would have eaten me whole had I not suggested a deal. I would sell off all the blades and armor left by previous adventurers. Okay. Surely he didn't have much use for all that equipment, but he could earn a tidy sum of gold. Surprisingly, he agreed. But that didn't save my life. Instead, he just turned me into a walking pile of bones. And what do you know? That was just the beginning of my troubles. For a long time, I wandered the river kingdoms, peddling wares, until I met one devious scoundrel. At first glance, he looked decent enough, decked out in armor, clearly a paladin. He asked me where my master's lair was. Obviously, he wasn't the first to take an interest, but the Draco Lich was no slouch. He put an enchantment on me so that I couldn't even remember the lair's location. However, this knight turned out to be quite the wizard, too. I'm no expert in magic, but basically, he offered to perform a ritual that would reveal the location of my master's lair. Then, he and his pals would kill the Draco Lich and give me my freedom. Plus half the horde. Sound like a sweet deal, huh? So I agreed. Like a fool. He showed me the contract and it seemed alright to me, so I just signed it right then and there. We conducted the ritual and this knight found out where my master was hiding. By looking at some astral tracks or whatnot. Long story short, they killed the Draco Lich. The knight offered me my half of the treasure as promised. And then, as per the terms of our contract, he demanded payment for the ritual's components for my freedom. And then there were taxes, excise fees, and fines. Before I knew it, I had to give him all of my loot and still couldn't even cover my debt. And so he offered me a way to repay it by working as before for his master this time. Thus, I'm still traveling, peddling, and all that until I earn every last coin that I owe him. And you know what? To pay off that kind of sum, I'm pretty sure I'll have to keep working for him until Grotus brings the end times. Wow. Now that's a story, isn't it? Someday I might even write a tragic play about myself. 
I'll call it Undeath of a Salesman. Uh, uh, as for the uh, moral, with a professorial air, the skeleton holds up one uh, white finger. The moral of my story is this. Watch what you sign. That lesson is free. For the rest of what's in this fine card, you have to pay in gold. Who was your new master? Did I tell you the knight looked like a paladin? Well, he wasn't anything of the sort. On the contrary, he was a servant of Mammon, the Archdevil of Avarice. The skeleton slightly opens his mouth to reveal a single azure coin among the gold. The coin is stamped with the disdainful visage of the devil. That's the one he sold me to, guts and all. Although by then I had no guts, really. Now, at least if somebody asks me if, where my master's lair is, I can honestly say, Erebus, the third layer of hell, palace of the royal treasurer, entranced by appointments on, or interest by appointment only. Requires lich mystic path. Huh. Want me to try and free you? No thanks. The skeletal waves you away with both hands. Been there, done that. Only made things worse. I've had enough help. I'll make do. Do you trade with everybody? You bet. What do I care about what side, uh, which side of yours is winning anyway? Both are buying my wares. Business is booming. Everybody needs a weapon and a good set of armor. You sell one thing, the next day they bring it all back all ragged and full of holes. Looking for a replacement. Sure, this war will probably end one day. Maybe the Crusaders will finally patch up that abyssal hole, or maybe this whole region will fall through it. That's when I'll pack up and go elsewhere. Galarian is a big place. I can always find new customers. Well, thank you. Okay, um, now I gotta kill- <laughs> I could use it for your potion. Here, please take it and enjoy. Just don't use it to outfox some poor salesman. Show me your wares. Okay. What do we have? A shock of court- or shock quarter staff, monk weapon, a flaming light crossbow, plus two. Hmm. Haramaki, plus two light armor. Haramaki. This armor provides a plus two bonus to armor class. A Haramaki. I don't know what a Haramaki is. I mean, this armor class is only a three. Can you use this? Can be equipped. So everyone can use this? I mean, it's a light armor. I didn't think you could use this. Maybe that's what's so special about it. Hmm. But he doesn't have light armor proficiency, though. Shouldn't this be showing up as red? Oh, maybe not, because these aren't showing up as red. Maybe I'm, th maybe I'm thinking about something else. Because like, if I, if I put it here, hmm, I feel like that should be showing up red. Uh, braces of armor plus four. Jesus. Amulet of natural armor plus two. Cloak resistance plus three. Plus two charisma, intelligence, or wisdom. Damn. 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 <laughs> oh, wow. This rod grants his wielder the ability to make up to three spells they cast per day bolstered as though using the bolster spell feed. Lesser rods can be used with spells third level or lower. The spell now deals two more damage per die rolled to all its targets. Additionally, all enemies in the five foot of the spell targets are dealt two damage per die rolled instead of the original spell. Or, or per the original spell. The, sm the spell no longer applies precision damage. Hmm. 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 I've got 12,000. Can maybe sell these. Sell all that. Sell this Falcata. We don't need these light chain shirts. I'll keep the hat. Okay, so now we have 20,000. How much you you're selling this for twenty three thousand? Damn, maybe I should have kept it. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. But like vast intelligence. Put that on her. Mm, I think I want to get that. Cloak of resistance three is pretty good. Braces of armor four. Four. 
Let's just grab these two items for now. Thank you. Okay, Ninio. You have a six charisma, which, or uh, intelligence, which is nuts. It's actually nuts. And then the scroll of resistance plus three, I'm gonna give to you. So you got a 14, nine, and 12. And then we'll give your cloak of resistance one, two. Oh, I already gave, oh, I gave you a two. Shit, I don't even remember giving you a two. Plan? There you go. Some fancy clothes. I am curious about the Haramaki, though. Hold on. Let me quick save. Do a test. Hey, there's that horse. I don't believe we should be able to use it on you. Me? I guess you can. Wait, this is better though, right? By one. Is that worth 4,000 though? Ah! Uh, probably not. Although I guess someone else can use it. Like, you know, Ninio can use it because it has no arcane spell failure. Or Darren, or and anybody. But even with this, like, your armor class, oh my god, your armor class is so bad. Even with this, it's not going to be great. It's probably not worth it, honestly. Let me just reload that. It's pretty expensive. Probably not worth it. Alright, well, that was cool. Um, Ninio is fatigued again. I will not attack the nightmares. Watch out for trouble. That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Enter. I should probably talk to... The storyteller. Where was he at? Where is that man? Where is that man? Keep your calm. I thought he was like right by here. I even think about Gworm. Who the hell is a storyteller? There are many roads to success. He's not in my tent, right? I will guide. I haven't been in the chapel tent for a bit. I know he's not in here. But yeah, not, nothing's changed in there. What the hell? Rosian camp. Helor. Queen Galfrey. What the? All right. Focus on the goal. I. I guess I don't remember where he's at. Mysterious elf. A wounded elf, huh? Well, there were lots of wounded in Canabras. Who wounded him? In what way? Anivia appears relaxed, even nonchalant, but her eyes gleam attentively, and her hands, as if by coincidence, are resting on her belt next to her weapon. How should I know? It must have been demons. If the wound was serious, I doubt he was fully recovered. Maybe if you could point me towards a healer, I could... The woman, wrapped in rags all the way up to her eyes, turns around at the sound of her footsteps. Damn it. In a lightning-fast motion, Anivia knocks something from the woman's hands. An amulet that seemingly appeared out of nowhere. It falls to the ground and disappears in a flash of magic. What's the rush, sweetheart? Stay a while. The commander and me, we've got a couple of questions for you. You won't escape this time. 
Who are you and why are you hiding your face? You hear a heavy sigh coming from under the shawl. Fine, you got me. We'll talk, but not here. Leave me somewhere away from prying eyes. She's all yours, Commander. I caught her, I handed her over, and now, as they say, I wash my hands of this whole affair. Is this the woman that we saw in Canabras? The um, person that we could have hunted? What do you want from me, soldier? In an exasperated gesture, she rips the half mask off her face and you see her black skin and crimson eyes. Yep, okay. It's Kalesa, the elf you met in Canabras. Who are you? Giving you a scrutinizing look, she says harshly. There's no point in you knowing, soldier. Trust me, the answer would only bring you misfortune, and it still wouldn't be of any use to you. I'm a wanderer you won't ever meet again. And why are you following my army? To find someone. Kalesa lets out a resigned huff. His masters want me dead, which means I will die sooner or later. After a pause, she narrows her eyes and spits out. But that doesn't mean I'll lie down and accept my fate. I'm no lamb to the slaughter, and I won't be waiting for a kindly executioner to come for me, knife in hand. Never again. Are you a spy? Her scarlet eyes flash defiantly, and she mutters through her teeth. I'm, go I'm not going to hide it. I have come here to commit a violent and bloody act. But I do not serve the demons, and I won't do you or your forces any harm. I need details. Why? And what will you do with my story? Take it into account and pass your judgment? Kill me if you deem me a reprobate? Help the poor girl if you don't? Well, I haven't asked for help, and your authority to judge me seems rather dubious. She's clearly lying to you, but it doesn't feel like the guile of someone plotting a crime. There is a slight hounded look to her eyes that makes her seem more like prey than hunter. I'll leave you be. She shrugs casually, as if her fate had not been hanging in the balance just a moment ago. How nice of you, soldier. I'm the commander of this crusade. Everyone's a soldier in a war, generals and privates alike. I look at you, and I see someone whose life is war, and only war. That makes you a soldier. Okay. Well, I've seen some other elves. They serve some demons. And Amora's minions. The words escape her lip before she's able to stop them. Then she looks at you with visible irritation. One of Descari's servants is a powerful elf by the name of Enamora, and those corrupted elves are her lackeys. Don't ask me how I know this, or why my appearance is similar to theirs. I'm not your enemy, but if you see them, kill them without remorse. So, what's with your appearance? A demon's handiwork. Some shrieking spawn flew across the sky, raining corruption down upon us all. I was caught in the attack. It's fine, it'll go away soon. Alright, well, I guess that's it. I have to go. I'm pretty sure I know who you're going for. My gut tells me it's time I was leaving, too. It's dangerous to stay here. Farewell, soldier. And she's gone. And there's a small summoned Earth Elemental I've never seen before. Interesting. Okay. I thought she was maybe looking for the storyteller. But no, she's looking for that hunter guy. Huh. I'm surprised she didn't recognize us. We're the ones who didn't kill her before. Oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Um, onion soup? Probably? I mean, we have the things for it. Saving throws are pretty good to have, so... Yes. A mystery woman without a past. It is rather tantalizing. Oh, you fall into the 1% of those surveyed who find amnesia sexually arousing. Thank you. Your contribution to my data is much appreciated. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? 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 Did we pat? Oh, oh, we failed on the onion soup. Damn. I thought it was pretty easy to make onion soup. Watch out for trouble. Mm, yeah, we'll still go with this party. Okay. Chili Creek. And then I think we're done with this side of the river. Also, I guess I can move our Crusader army. Oh, shit. But we're not in any, any uh, real rush. 
A ghoul creeper, you say? No reason to pause. Okay, Meditate well, if I have some night. time... You might make you feel better. I may just sell those. Oh, do we, potion? we have, like, potions of... Oh, blur, sure. Use that. Use, and... We'll, uh, we'll feed a potion of blur to L'Oreal. Use. And Melko. You know what? You all get some. Okay. I don't know how serious this fight's gonna be. It could just be one ghoul creeper, which, if that's the case, we have just wasted three potions of blur. It looks like... Oh, there's, there's, there's another one. There's another one. This is okay. Um, remove fear. Nat naturalize poison or neutralize. Remove sickness. We don't need any of those. We'll just move Dayron over here. And... Disrupt Undead. Where is Disrupt Undead? I know you've got it. Okay, I really need to organize these spells. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice. The light take you! Charge! You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Alright, well he did. Charge! We got two more ghoul creepers. Do these guys have sneak attack? Well, they have to roll 20 to hit Melko, and plus he has concealment, so I feel pretty confident about this. Also, how can you only... What is up with this character? Why can he only have one standard action? I still don't understand this. I really don't. Move up. Disrupt undead. That's fine. Can't all be uh, hits. Move up. Yeah, that's, that's a that's a big old miss. Oh hell yeah, Melko's just like get out of here. So depending if I can just turn off turn base, I think I can. Because, like, Melko's just tanking all this. There we go. Turns out you give Melko some concealment, he'll get some work done. Let's get to the exciting part. All right, Chili Creek. <laughs> hmm. Keep your calm. Okay, I'm calm. Jernaug. Uh, Jernaug. A young priest of Aristo you first met during the events of Canabras. Oh yes, I remember him. Walks thoughtfully around the grove. He pauses in front of a few trees, lingering there for some time. He seems to be examining something carefully. At the sound of your footsteps, he turns around abruptly, but the anxious expression on his face quickly gives way to a, an amiable smile. Ah, Commander, it's so good to see you. It seems you've found time to visit our quiet backwater after all. I could be mistaken, but it looked like you were frightened. Oh no, you startled me, that's all. It's my overactive imagination. I still can't get used to living in such a small village. The town where I grew up was a good deal larger, and it was located near a trade route, so there were always lots of new faces, and plenty of people bursting around, bustling around. Here, though, it's different. The moment you step outside the village, you're all alone. You can walk for miles in any direction with only the birds and animals for company. 
This is, of course, the way Aristotle teaches us to live. But truth be told, it still makes me feel somewhat uncomfortable. What are we looking at? See for yourself. He points to one of the branches, and among the leaves, you notice a small doll made of grass and seaweed tied with a blue ribbon. I keep finding them here in the grove. I think it's some kind of local ritual. I've asked the villagers to tell me what it, <coughs> what it means. <coughs> Excuse me. But they won't give me an answer. I just don't understand the reason for all this secrecy. Well, how's village, village life? I'm getting used to the way of things. I still get the occasional sidelong glance from the locals, but that's not surprising. After all, I'm just some stranger who decided to show up without an invitation and settle down in the village. But the church warned us about this. Such caution is to be expected at first. I just have to do my best to earn their trust. I heal, I purify the water, I give blessings. Sooner or later, they will accept me as one of their own. Kind of makes you... Or war uh, makes you forget what peace feels like. I understand. My time in Canabras gave me a small taste of war. I only had to live through it for a few days, but I know the horrors I witnessed will haunt my nightmares for years to come. I cannot imagine how hard it is for those like yourself, soldiers who have given their lives to this cause. The priest places a hand on, on his heart. You have chosen to fight there in order to protect our peaceful and quiet life here, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So, uh, show me around the village? Of course, let's go. You'll get to meet the locals, see how we live. Maybe you'll even manage to get some peace and quiet. A temporary respite from the hardships of war. Don't be offended if they start gawking at you. In this remote village, people have never seen a fox kin. Come to think of it, people have never seen your kin where I grew up either. And I bet that even in Canabras you'd seem exotic to many. But I have already explained everything to the locals as best I could, so they shouldn't stare too openly or ask silly questions. That's cool. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Wait for Kayless' schemes to be revealed. Uh-huh. I don't know. I don't know what the quest here is. I don't remember. What is this? Oh, three old dolls. Okay. There are many roads to success. Uh, well, that's very creepy. I'm sure that's my uh, hmm. My guess is that it's gonna. Oh my god! What the f what? In your quiet village, you just have a hydra? A casual hydra? You fought ones bigger than this? Okay. Uh, oh, shit. Okay. That'll teach you to mess with us. A man with green eyes and broad shoulders of a swimmer and the callous hands of a fisherman shakes his fist at the beast's motionless carcass. Something's got him all worked up. That's the second time they've caught out this month. So let him come. A woman, her eyes, the same shade of green as the fisherman, smiles at you. It's not the first time and it won't be the last. But what's the matter? They can't hurt us, and we can use their tide or their hides to make a lot of waterproof coats and cloaks. Markel, Melissa, I'd like to introduce you to somebody. This is Tokshin, the commander of the crusade. He's the one I told you about. We get attacked by hydras sometimes. Ah, a real hero in our little backwater. It's so nice of you to drop by. We've never had anyone so important come to visit. Heroic acts are important, but sometimes it's good to leave the front lines and talk to ordinary uh, people living ordinary lives. Anyway, welcome to Chili Creek. Uh, so, hydras are usually far more dangerous. I can tell you have an eye for such things. Well, of course he does. He's the commander of the crusade. He probably could have told you all that with his eyes shut. Melissa smiles at you. It's all thanks to our mother, Icy Rill. She takes care of her children. Won't let anyone hurt them. She fills our nets with fish and drives away the monsters. That's right. And if she doesn't drive the beasts away, she'll weaken them so we can kill them and harvest their hides. Uh-huh. And who's this? She's right here. Uh, Markle nods towards the river. Did you think this was the Selen? No, it'll take you half a day's rowing before you'd reach that river. 
It's big to be sure and very important. The Selen flows through at least a dozen countries. But where would the Great Selen be if it wasn't fed by thousands of little streams and creeks? Such as our dear Icy Rill. The people of Chili Creek hold the river in great reverence. Hmm. How can we not? Our whole lives are built around the river. From the wedding wreath we send down its streams to the funeral boat that floats away on the waters when the time comes. Our mother, Icy Rill, feeds us, gives us water, protects us. With a kind smile, uh, casts a sidelong glance. The gods are far away, but our Icy Rill is right here, so we treat her with respect. I uh, assume you two are related? Right you are! Uh, Marco ruffles, ruffles Melissa's hair. She laughs and tweaks his nose. She's my little sister. Takes after our granny. May her memory never fade. She was always restless. Couldn't sit still. And Melissa's just the same. She's always up to something. And you took after our grandpa. May the river silt be his feather bed. You're as brave as he was. And just as stubborn. Are uh, you two in charge here? Well, how should I put this? Our village is too small for anyone to be in charge. We just happen to know a thing or two about using a weapon. <gasps> Excuse me. So if, if some nasty creature comes crawling out of the river, we give the orders. But when it comes to fishing, or fixing nets, we'll be the ones following orders. We're not an army, and there are no officers here. We all live together, solve our problems together, and serve the icy rill together. Although truth be told, it's only been in the last few years that people have really started listening to us. Before that, villagers kept to themselves, and no one wanted to go poking their nose into anyone else's business. When we first came up with the idea to start trading on the river, the other villagers stubbornly dug in their heels. But after money and goods began to flow into the village, they changed their minds. Yes, the village has been growing. We're getting to see all sorts of things we had only ever heard about before. The year before last, we had a fair, and people came all the way from Canabras to attend. Then, a priest came, and we'd never seen one of those before in these parts. And now, who'd have thought the commander of the crusade has decided to pay us a visit? Not just a commander, but a child of the fox people. We hadn't even heard of your kind before the priest told us about you. Lots of wonders in this world. They never stop. So what's up with the grass dolls? A shadow passes over Markle's face and he looks away. There's nothing much to tell, really. An old local custom. It's just a ritual. Melissa adds in a low voice. No one seems willing to share any further details with you. Huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, so how's life in the village now? Not much has changed. He's a good lad. He does some healing. Never bothers us with sermons. Why, he's even learning to fish in his spare time. He also knows a lot of songs. And when he sings, it makes you want to sit and listen. Uh, smiles arch archly at the priest, and he blushes. Uh, the world wound's not that far away. Have you ever been attacked by demons? No, we've never seen any. Our mother, Icy Rill, keeps us safe. She would never let abominations near us. Who killed the giant wolf when we came in? I don't like either of you die. <laughs> Alright, well, I gotta go. Back to the front. Melissa shakes her head sadly. I can't even imagine the nightmarish creatures you have to fight there. Have a safe journey and a swift victory. Yeah, safe, safe journey and stuff. I'm gonna look at this real quick and take its eyeballs. I'm gonna pick your locks. Just don't blame me. You ask me. This is my kind of work. I'm gonna take these gloves. These oppressor gloves. These gloves grant the wearer a plus two bonus on persuasion skill checks made to intimidate. In addition, whenever the wearer of these gloves confirms a critical hit, the enemy suffers a minus two penalty on saving throws against minor affected conditions for two rounds. Yeah. I'll wear some gloves. Look at these. Mmm. Mmm. Sure, I can wear some gloves. That's fine. Mine affected conditions, though. Alright. I'll take it. Sure. Need all this for the crusade. Some crazy looking fish. Random Warhammer. Or Light Hammer. Hello, citizens. 
Look, the commander's here. Welcome back. Please, stay here for as long as you like. Oh, this is new. When the Crusaders near the world wound, they often experience nightmares when they sleep. Do you have any trouble with nightmares here? Don't know what you're talking about, if I'm honest. I sleep like a dead man. Nothing to complain about. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go. Hmm. Something's up with those dolls. These people killed a Hydra. Hmm. I don't know what's going on here, but... I'm gonna get down to the bottom of it. Hold on, I just remember, we got a couple of recipes now. Where's the other one? There you are. Hmm. Watch out for trouble. Villager? It's tough to be out there fighting the war, eh? It is. I mean, maybe there's nothing going on here, you know? Maybe the dolls are just some weird local custom that they don't want to talk about. Keep your calm. Or maybe this is a secret cult of undead worshippers. Many roads to success. Ferocious wolf up there. Combat abilities. How do I even get over there? I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, I see right here. Out of my sight. <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Drink. Oh, uh, hmm. Oh, you, you got you got a high AC. You're fine. Kill that alpha wolf. No, how are you doing? You're doing fine. Performance is lacking. You are lacking. Jesus. Yes, I insist. Get over here. Those villagers took that very well. I will guide. I'm sorry, what? Megaloceros? Okay. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna start shit with the Megaloceros. I will see to you tomorrow. I'm guessing if we like speak with the animal, maybe the Megaloceros could tell us something. Okay. Ah, that's what's going on. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Melko? You are blurred. Oh my god, it's a plagued burr. It's a big fucking plagued burr. That's a big burr! Alright, alright, alright. Calm down. Calm down, everybody. Calm down. I'll just have to resort to I missed. Alright, everyone freak out. Melka, get some. Mm, are these evil? They're undead, so yeah? Neutral evil. Okay. Okay, we need to, I feel like we need to kill these things pretty quickly. Mm, damage undead. Okay, 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 okay. Into the fray. Okay. Ah, uh, 24! 24? Just a casual 24 damage. Jesus, man. You won't survive me. 
Oh god. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Give me displacement, Minyo. Thank you. Jesus. Jesus! What the actual... What the... What the... What the... What the... What? Just... What the... No, hey, no. Oh my god. I shall survive this ordeal. Okay. Okay. I guess the concealment didn't uh didn't do much there. Oh my goodness. The light take you. Oh my goodness. The inheritor guide my blade. Oh my goodness. Oh, Lariel. Lariel, man. Endure this! Nice. Critical at 48! Oh, yes, 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 yes. 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 Alright, magic missile. Finish this thing off. Yes. Okay, okay, we're gonna be fine. Cover me, alright? Oh, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. So it comes to this! All these things are scary. Oh my goodness. We got it. Oh, L'Oreal. Jeez, man. Fighting for a righteous cause is certainly different from a simple massacre. The former is more blood and performed with pinkies out. What? Magritium Turinos. Magritium Turinos. Do it again. Man, those things did not care that we had high ACs. Also, I'm diseased? A plague. A demon plague. I don't have remove plague. Oh, skip the pleasantries. And sickened effects. I don't think this is a sickened thing. We don't need restoration yet. Neutralize poison. No, it's not that. I don't know if it's a disease. It's called a plague. I'm assuming it. I'm assuming it'll work. Okay. Yes. All right. This wand is amazing. Whew, skin them all, collect. Watch out for trouble. Jesus. Like, we've never seen any demons over here at all. There's just some um, three plague demon infused uh, animals over there. There are many roads to success. Hello, friends. Ferocious. I'm not here to kill elk. I will guide. Maybe this little village doesn't hold any secrets. Still, it does. I mean, something's clearly off. Maybe later? Maybe later something's, something's gonna happen? Like, the priest is gonna send us a note like, Oh my god, it's Children of the Corn! Have you ever seen that movie? And I'd be like, what are you talking about a movie? We're living in a fantasy world, there's no movies. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, with that, friends, I'm going to end this one here, and I will see you all in the next episode. Uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's the end of the map. Um, I will see you all in the next episode. We're just gonna keep... keep we're just gonna continue. Um... 
and maybe come back to this place later. Maybe. We'll see. Thanks for watching, though. Take care, everybody.